Today, we're gonna rebuild this Suntour Mighty Click. The only tools you need are a screwdriver, a bigger screwdriver, and a nine mil socket or wrench. This thing was the answer to Shimano's uh, Positron, which has indexing, as you can see. But this thing didn't even have indexing in the derailleur and they put it into the shifter. So they got it right the first time, but then just abandoned it. Not surprised. Okay, so that pulley back there is kind of hard to get to. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off this little pin here, pull back the cage and unscrew it. There you go, now the cage is gonna spring back. Like so, it's taking a while. And just to give us even more room, I'm gonna take off this cover right here. Just grab your large screwdriver and unscrew it. I had to pop it loose off camera because it's kind of hard. So grab it like this and then you just unscrew it. Cage unscrews like that. There you go. Now we also have this little washer and then the pulley. Now you should be able to just grab this and pop it out, but as you can tell, it rubs against that. Maybe it's just my derailleur, it's probably bent or something. But yeah, just grab a hammer and kind of just tap this thing out. There you go. Okay, now usually these plastic covers come apart from the spring, but mine isn't. As you can tell, there's like a flange there, which is keeping it in. So I don't want to break the seal, so I'm going to leave it like this. And now we have this little barrel, which is supposed to be like a cable saver. We got a light action equivalent on a Shimano. So then you unscrew the other side a little bit. There you go, it pops out. So yeah, you want to take out both those screws. It's going to make this all this a lot easier to clean, which is pretty nice. Um, and yeah, now we've got everything all nice and taken apart. It's time to clean this. You can use like a cleaner or a degreaser, um, like brake cleaner, acetone. And make sure to stay away from the plastic when you do that because it could degrade it. And yeah, you can also use some like nylon brushes or a toothbrush. It works just fine. And in my case, I'm using this ultrasonic cleaner. All I'm using is water and dish soap. All right, so now we got everything all nice and cleaned down, ready to go. Some of the chrome parts, like this parallelogram here, some of the bolts and stuff, I used this quick glow chrome wax and also lubed up some of the pivots on here and greased up that spring to stop it from rusting. And for the assembly, you're gonna need some grease. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put this barrel back in here. And if you're wondering what this is, this actually has a spring inside it, if you can tell. It saves the cable if there's too much tension on it, if you like shift try to shift too far or something, it'll absorb the impact. So if you grab some pliers and you stick them in here, you can see that it'll take up the slack and absorb um, the impact if you, if you pull the cable too far. Just drop some chain lube in the back, back here to keep the spring from rusting. All right, so we want the long side to be facing inside of the derailleur like this. Put this on here. Thankfully, this is not under too much tension. I also put some grease on all these little pivot points. You can put oil on there. It doesn't really matter as long as you got it lubed up in some way you want to line it up like so to the best of your ability so you just screw in both your screws just before they start protruding past the plate like so and grab your barrel again you want to have the long end in like this stick it in and yeah just screw it in and line it up like so it shouldn't be too hard to screw in if it's really hard that means you don't got it lined up right and you gotta realign it but yeah, there you go. And then just make sure it moves nice and smooth. There you go. All right, so now time for our spring. You want to just grease this up nice and good. Get the back side as well. And just pop this thing in. Like so. You also want to grease up the inside of here or oil it up to the, to the best of your ability. And yeah, in the spring holes, you see there's three holes. The left one is the tighter one. right one is the looser one. I'm just going to go with the middle one just to play it safe. And yeah, pop it in. There you go. And as you can tell, I'm missing the bolt here. So if, if you do have it, just grease it up the inside over here to keep it moving nice and smooth. And yeah, that's it. Now, before we put the cage on, I'm gonna put the pulleys in. So we got some grease on the inside of that plastic part. Grab your steel bushing, put some grease on the inside of that. 
and put your seals on and pop it in. All right, so now time to put the cage on. We wanna grease up this bottom area right here where this washer goes, slide that on. And then you also wanna put some grease on that washer and on this cage right here, and then just screw the two together. And to tighten this down, again, you just want the snug, not too tight. Grab a hold of the cage, get your big screwdriver, and just tighten it. There you go. So just make sure this pulley bolt is nice and snug, and moves nice and smoothly. And grab your cage, you wanna turn it counterclockwise all the way around, like so, until it passes that point where it stops. And you wanna have your stopper on standby and screw it in. So now you just wanna make sure your cage moves nice and smooth. As you can tell, it's not rubbing anymore on here, which is an awesome, moving very smooth. Same thing for this other pulley, same as the guide pulley. Make sure it moves nice and smooth. And make sure you get that bolt uh, tightened down. And now we have our clamp bolt over here. This is how you want that little bolt to go in, like so. And there we go. Now I just polished down this uh, pinnacle right here. Looks awesome. And yeah, there you go. Now you got yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur. This thing's pretty cool. It's basically a mix of a Suntour AR and a Suntour Honor. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but this is the only one I've ever seen. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful in some way, and I'll see you guys in the next one.